Warming Center is now open at the Spokane Convention Center. It's a much needed resource as these dangerous temperatures creep into the inland northwest. That's a below nine degree weather. I mean, people will die here. This is a good thing. The center is open 24 hours a day through at least January 2nd, and they won't turn anyone away. The goal is to get people off the streets and to save lives. The Guardian Foundation, City of Spokane, and first responders started preparing for the space last week. Today, people are thankful they don't have to weather the frigid temperatures outside. Esther Bowers shows us how the center is keeping people safe. People already feel right at home here at the convention center. For those currently living on the streets, it's a blessing they aren't taking for granted. We got some below nine degree weather. I mean, people will die here. This is a good thing. Because Jonathan Turner and his wife will spend the next few days inside a warm room, enjoying hot meals and not trying to survive in a tent. This extra effort to give these individuals an opportunity to get down here for the week is uh, a vital part of uh, saving lives. Mike Shaw is one of the people running the warming center. They've set up over 100 mats and won't turn anyone away. On top of a warm space, hot meals are served and pets are welcome. We haven't seen temperatures this low in some places, that, you know, in, in about 10 years. Miranda Cote uh, is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. Their team is tracking the sub-zero freeze heading our way. How important is it going to be for people to take this seriously? We can underestimate how the weather can impact us. Which is why setting up this warming center is making an impact on the lives it's saving. When it gets cold outside like this, I mean, shelters are full everywhere. The reason it gives me hope is because, I mean, what I'm seeing is, is people laying down, minding their own business, doing their own thing. The best way to stay safe this week is to stay inside and encourage anyone you see to do the same. If you see that person and you're at a red light, tell them convention center is open. All is welcome. And Mike hopes we can all play a part this week keeping our neighbors safe by checking in on loved ones and making sure everyone in the community knows there is a safe warm place for them to stay right here at the convention center reporting from downtown spokane tonight esther bauer four news now